I'd like to say good evening and welcome to Word Wednesday. We're excited and greatly encouraged by your presence. Members of the fellowship, thank you for joining us on the parking lot and or via Facebook. A video call or conference call always greatly by your presence, your commitment to being here on the campus physically. Even though we're not able to worship inside together, you still make the effort to be in the presence of Almighty God. And those of you who have joined us via Facebook, we thank God for you. And know that His Word is going to go forth on tonight that will encourage you and help you on tonight. We begin each and every worship that we have, or basically, really, truly anything that we have, we can just be here and clean it up. We begin with prayer because Amen. there's power Hallelujah. in prayer. Amen. How do you know there's power in prayer? Because I've seen results from prayer. I've seen people get healed from prayer. I've seen babies get healed from prayer. I've seen people's lives change from prayer. I've seen people's finances change from prayer. I've seen marriages come back together from prayer. So there is power in your prayer. That's why the enemy fights us so much in our prayer time. That's why he fights even reading your Bible. Anything that looks like doing something that has to do anything with God, he tries to deter us from that. But we begin tonight with prayer for the Word of God says, God's house shall be called a house of prayer. So we Amen. always go make sure we get some prayer in some way. Amen. 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 I encourage you to do Amen. so as well. Yes, We're going to pray two particular sets of prayers on tonight. The first prayer, led of the Spirit of God, is the war against infirmity. What's infirmity? Infirmity is sickness or disease or ailments, aches, pains, anything that's negative that can occur with your body. Going to be coming against that because we are fighting the pandemic. Amen. Doctors, Amen. scientists, uh, researchers, they're studying it in the natural, but it's our to do our part to fight it in the spirit. Then we'll be praying the prayers for our finances, for yes. correction of our finances because you need help in your money. Yes. The economy is doing different things, but that does not mean that things have to be down for you. Amen. God will bless his children in spite of what's going on in the economic climate. If you like a copy of these prayers, you can simply just direct message us, and we'll be happy to uh, direct message you back a copy of these prayers. I encourage you to repeat these prayers after me, if you will, please. On tonight, if you have these prayers, you can just read along with us. And it says, "Holy Father, Holy Father, we confess, we confess, excuse me, we confess, we confess and repent of the sins, and repent of the sins, and open the door, and open the door for this pestilence. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ." We plead and ask for mercy and forgiveness. We plead and ask for mercy and forgiveness. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We repent from all our iniquities. We repent from all our iniquities. O Lord. O Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. O Lord. O Lord. Let your mercy speak. Let your mercy speak. And have mercy upon us as a nation. And have mercy upon us as a nation. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. O Lord. Save our nation. Save our land from destruction and judgment. From destruction and judgment. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. O Lord, let your healing power begin to operate upon our land. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We bind and cast out the evil presence. We bind and cast out the evil presence. That invited this pestilence. Out of, our land. out of our land in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Divine immunity. Divine immunity. By the blood of our Lord Jesus. By the blood of our Lord Jesus. Overshadow all our health care workers. Overshadow all of our health Strengthen their hearts and minds and bodies. Strengthen their hearts and minds and bodies. And supernaturally rest their bodies. And supernaturally rest their bodies. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Power of the most high. Power of the most high. Overshadow those. Overshadow those. Seeking for cure. And prevention. and prevention. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh Lord. O oh Lord. Grant our leaders. Grant our leaders. Divine wisdom. Divine wisdom. To manage this crisis. To manage this crisis. In, the In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord. Every wicked spirit. Every wicked spirit. Assigned to terminate our lives. Assigned to terminate our lives. Perish and melt away. Perish and melt away. Like wax in the fire. Like wax in the fire. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thunder fire of God. Thunder fire of God. Scatter, destroy, and break. Scatter, destroy, and break. Into pieces. Into pieces. Every dark existence. Every dark existence. And dark gathering. And dark gathering. Against our existence. Against our existence. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The wall of the blood of our Lord Jesus. The wall of the blood of our Lord Jesus. Is around us. Is around us. And our household. And our household. Any evil 
evil force that comes near us shall catch fire, shall catch and, fire, burn to ashes. and burn to ashes in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. O oh Lord, oh let the power base of this pandemic in the heavens and in the waters be broken to pieces and destroyed. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. O oh great wind from the wilderness, arise, locate the base of this pandemic and blow it away. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Blood of our Lord Jesus. Completely cover everyone in this country and protect them from death by this pandemic. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We dwell inside the envelope of divine fire. We dwell inside the envelope of divine fire. We are untouchable. We are untouchable by the power of infirmity. By the power of infirmity. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord. O wind of God. Arise and sweep away the skies from our land. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. By the power and the blood of our Lord Jesus. We raise an altar of victory. Praise and worship of Jehovah in this land. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We command the air. To vomit all the seeds and tokens of death. It is harbor in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Pass over blood of our Lord Jesus. Envelope our nation in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Pass over blood of our Lord Jesus. Envelope our land in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Pass over blood of our Lord Jesus. Envelope us and our families. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We pulled out every stronghold of this pandemic. We pulled out every stronghold of this pandemic. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. By the power and the blood of our Lord Jesus. By the power and the blood of our Lord Jesus. We stop the spread. We stop the spread of this pandemic. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. By the thunder of your power, O Lord. Sweep away the power of this pandemic. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You pandemic. Hear the word of the Lord. Your time is up. Die now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every rage of you eaters. Of flesh. And drinkers of blood. We stop you. We stop you. Before you stop us, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. The next prayers we'll pray on tonight are prayers for correction and our finances. We always need His help and assistance with our finances. We need God's help. I encourage you to tie. Tithing is when God, I give God 10% of all my increase. It's a dime out of every dollar to give an offering to your church. Amen. 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 That, that you can't get around the principle, which is that we give tithes and offerings and pray for correction in your finances. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If you don't have anywhere to send your tithes and offerings, you can send them here. Amen. You're being fed here and you're being blessed here. And God will honor that in the name of the Lord Jesus the Christ. Amen. So let's pray. Tree of life. Be resurrected in my life. Be resurrected in my Tree of life. Tree of life. Be resurrected in my life. Be resurrected. Tree of life. Tree of life. Be resurrected in my life. Be resurrected in my life. Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. Make the dry places firm. Make the dry places firm. In my finances. In my finances. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Unlock all the padlocks. Unlock all the padlocks. On my treasure chest. On my treasure chest. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Blood of Rebuke the, Rebuke the devourer in my finances. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every diversion of my financial blessings away from me. O oh Lord, reverse the diversion and cause the finances to flow to me now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. O oh God, make the crooked way straight in my finances. Every fight, Every fight for my finances, for my finances. In, the in the spirit realm be one in my favor. Be one in my favor.
the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Ground that was iron. Sky that was brass. In my finances. Turn back to fertile soil. And abundant rain. In my finances. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let my seed. Always find good soil. Always find good In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh God. Defend my finances. In Jesus Christ's name. Lord Jesus Christ. Prepare every busted gate. In my finances. Every lock on my finances. Every lock on my finances. That does not have a key. That does not have a key. I knock you loose. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every financial bullet be flipped on your head in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, tears among my harvest, burn yourself up right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All treasure chests with my name on them, find me now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Show me, show me as you show Jacob, as you show Jacob how, to make strong, how to make strong what is weak in my finances. In my oh, God, oh God, wherever go live, wherever go live I've killed. Kill. Cause me to be paid fairly. Oh. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Key of David, come to me now. And I'll lock every door closed against me. Oh God, I'm more than enough. Bring my finances. From the prison to the palace, just as you did for Joseph. Oh God, I honor you with my money, all of my days. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every Haman in my finances, hang yourself. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Spirit of Mammon, I am not your dwelling place. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh God, oh God, open your good treasures unto me now. Open your good treasures unto me now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May my treasure, May my treasure and, my and my heart always remain with you. Always remain with you. Regardless of my financial status. Thank you, Holy Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. And thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah to the Christ, for he is sovereign. Amen. We preach tonight in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He is our God, and through him we do valley. This is the day that the Lord has made. I do rejoice, and I am glad in it. Amen. Open trust and pray that you've been having a good week so far. Spirit of God spoke to me. Amen. As we were praying that the pandemic did not come upon us because of one person. All right. That was going to take more than one person praying. For it to leave, amen. amen. So we all have to do our part, yes. amen. Yes. We all have to do our part. Everybody yes. has to participate. Yes, so everybody that knows yes. how to pray, amen. Pray, amen. Yes. You don't know what to pray? I tell you, we'll send you a copy of these prayers, and you can just come back to this Facebook Live on your news feed here yes. and pray these prayers again, yes. because yes. the presence and power of God wants to deliver His children. He's always there, yes. amen. To God is to be with us and to always, always bring us out on top. Amen. So you get encouraged on tonight. Amen. We're excited. Amen. About the word that the Lord has given our founding pastor, Dr. Ruben I. Samson Sr. And grateful to God for his obedience and his ministry to the body of Christ and for how God is using him in this season. Amen. amen. God has used his prophetic ministry. Amen. To bless us and to teach us how to pray how we should pray and to fight the devil in advance. Amen. 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 So we continue to fight the good fight of faith. Amen. So let's receive our founding pastor, our visionary, Amen. our prophet. Glory. Amen. Glory. Dr. Ruth, our Amen. 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 Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank
thank you for saving change his mind. Thank you, Lord. He's not changed his mind about who he wants us to be. He's not changed his mind about what he wants us to do. Mm. Our subject, God did not change his mind. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. These are the text words for the gifts and calling of God are without repentance. The gifts and calling of God are without repentance. Amen. Thank God that we can know his mind. Mm. Thank you, Lord. We may not always clearly understand it, but we can know it. <laughs> yes. We don't understand everything we know. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. You know the delight is on, but what really causes it to work, we cannot necessarily put into word unless we are educated in that discipline. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Um, thank God that he shares what's on his mind with us through his word. Thank you, Lord. And God said enough. Amen. He said enough in his word if you just read it. Mm. And I want to encourage you again, as I often do, and this pastor does as well, and I've been doing this all my preaching days, Christians, read the Bible. Amen. Read it. They taught us, read it, be wise, practice it to be holy. Hallelujah rather practice it to walk in holiness. Since God has made us holy, we cannot make ourselves holy. That's not enough in us to do that. Hallelujah. But you ought to read the Bible. Read it from Genesis to Revelation. I didn't say memorize the Bible. I'm, I'm not a, I, I'm not a, I've never taught scripture memorization. And I've been preaching since 1972. I never taught anybody that they ought to memorize the Bible. You don't have to memorize it because you can go right back and read it again. And then as you get older, you cannot trust your memory. Amen. Especially when you start reading different translations and different versions of the Bible. That was a time I was a walking concordance. I knew the Bible that well. If you call up the scripture, I could tell you exactly where it was. Amen. Amen. But I didn't use it to the glory of God. I used it to argue the Bible. And I don't argue the Bible anymore. But the Bible is for believing. Amen. Because you win an argument does not change anybody's mind. That's right. Amen. amen. Anyone persuaded, amen, against their opinion, they have the same opinion still. But thank God he does share his mind with us. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That he thinks about his covenant. We talked about it on last time. Yeah. He's mindful of us. That means he's thinking about us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that, that God definitely does not think like us, though. Mm. Thank God. Thank God. He does not think like us. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. I am so grateful he doesn't think like us because, you know, we get lost in our thoughts sometimes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. But our God is a God of ruined conditions. He can turn things around for you. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And where it may look like you can't be who God calls you to be or do what he calls you to do, he hasn't changed his mind. And what God has decreed, he does not just decree for you to obey it. He gives us the grace and everything that we need to accomplish it. He's not depending on our strength. He's not depending on our credentials. He's not depending on our ability. And he's definitely not depending on our power. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God has the power, the grace to help us to accomplish anything he's asked us to do. Yeah. However, sometimes our view of what God called us to do and the result that we envision is not necessarily the one that he envisions because all God really requires of us is willingness. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Nowhere in the Bible will you find where God commands us to be successful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Especially success as men count success. Mm. See, men spell success dollar sign U dollar sign dollar sign U C E dollar sign dollar sign. Mm. Amen. Amen. But success with God is not always success as men count success. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But he told me to tell you again tonight that he's not changed his mind. He's a God of ruined conditions. You may be at the very opposite of the spectrum where God told you to be. Doesn't matter. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God told Jonah to go preach at Nineveh, and he boarded a ship to go in the opposite direction. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But he still found himself in Nineveh again, mm. as God had commanded him to go. That God is without repentance. That means that. That's not about men. We, we need to repent. Yeah. But God is without repentance, meaning that he, God does not repent or change in his purposes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And the bestowing of his gifts on men. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Someone will try to cut you off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some may, in jealousy, try to discredit you. Oh, Lord. Lie on you. Yeah. Amen. Scandalize your name. And, and no one's free of scandal. Amen. Amen. Right. And when scandal comes, folks are still going to be left of their opinions. Mm -hmm. yeah. You just have to know that you're doing what God told you to do. Hallelujah. That's all that's important. Let folk think what they want to think. It's unimportant as regards your relationship with the Lord. Hmm. But my relationship with God is not tied to you. Oh, Lord. No, no, not in that way. Yes, See, I must please him. Yes, sir. And if it does not please you, uh, you possess the problem. All right. Hallelujah. 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 That, that all of God's promises made to his people, they are fulfilled. Hmm. He keeps his word. All of God's work is done in eternity. He's not a time God. With God, time is not a thousand years, but it's yesterday when it is past. One of our days, amen, is just a, oh, a, a peck <laughs> in a day with God. Amen? amen? And all of his work is done in eternity. Amen. It just shows up in time. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. That God watches after his word to perform it. He accomplishes his word, accomplishes the end for which it is sent. And I want to encourage you tonight, don't don't lose patience. Mm. Don't lose patience while the vision is delayed. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't throw away your confidence. Hallelujah. When you put your confidence in God, you place it in the proper place. Mm -hmm. And believe this. Hallelujah. That God's going to keep his word to you. Yes. That, that the decision you make to wait on God is supported by him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's going to help you. When you decide to wait on him when you, and, 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 and wait and serving God, those are the same matters. Amen. We wait on God by serving him just as a, a waiter, amen, a server in a restaurant. He's waiting on you. He's serving you. She is waiting on you. She's serving you. In that same manner, it's ours to wait on God to serve him. Yes. And by and large, all that God has for us is going to come to us while we're serving yes. him. That's the relationship. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The waiting on the Lord is still the best thing you can do. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 
Because prayer involves waiting on God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. That's Lamentations 3.25 and 26. Lamentations 3.25 and 26. It says, the Lord is good unto them that wait for him. To the soul that seeketh him or seeks him. It's good that a man or woman should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Trust God on this, that he will save you. Mm. Oh, yes. yes. He, he, he can save us from the stormy blast. Yes. Mm. There's not anything that Satan can try to perpetrate upon us that God cannot keep us away from or deliver us out of. All right. All right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I want to say don't despair. Amen. Man. Don't despair. Don't. If the Lord doesn't appear in the clouds, I believe he's coming soon. But if he doesn't appear in the clouds, because that's the way that the Bible says he's coming back. But if he does not come in the cloud, he will show up in your situation. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say to yourself, Jesus is coming soon for me. Jesus is coming soon for me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, don't, don't despair of God's moving on your behalf. Because you can't see what he's doing does not mean that he's not done something on your behalf. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That, that, that beloved, I want to encourage you tonight that God will not fail you. He will not fail you. Thank you Lord. He will not fail you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The scripture is clear. Malachi 3 6. Malachi 3 6. It says, For I am the Lord, I change not. Mm. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Therefore, you sons of Jacob are not consumed. And thank God it is not changed. And it's because he's not changed, we haven't been wiped off the map. Because God does not change is why Satan's trap didn't work. Because God has not changed me, that means that's why that devil has not had his way in our lives. And what he proposed to do, God disposed of it. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You've you, you got to know this tonight, that everything God made will pass away. But the word that made everything will not pass away. Hallelujah. I want to say it again. That, that, that what God made yes, sir. will pass away. But the word that he made them with will not pass away. This is the way the Bible says it. Luke 21, 33. Jesus is talking here. He says, heaven and earth shall pass away. But my word shall not pass away. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. And he's a present help. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. That, that, that when they say wait on the Lord, they're talking about serve the Lord. Yes, sir. Amen. It ain't, if he's walking with you, where he got to come from? <laughs> if he's right here, where does he have to come from? All right now. Hallelujah. Our problem is that we just need to wait on him. Yeah. Oh, preacher calling the midnight rider. I understand what he meant. That when the lights go out, he'll show up. Hallelujah. Make you know where he is. That he's right there carrying you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I said again, he's a present help. Psalm 46, a man preaches it. Psalm 46, 1 through 5, I want to read all of it. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Therefore will not we fear, though the earth be removed, and the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters are roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof, said, Lord, there is a river. Streams where all shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacle of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. She shall not be moved. God shall help her. Yes, sir. And that right early. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank, you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The weeping may endure for a night, but joy, yeah, Lord. unspeakable joy comes yes, in the morning. Yes. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank that God confirms his word. Yes, sir. He cannot lie. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He, he cannot lie. I said it on last time that he does what he says before he says it. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that when it, when it shows up, it can't be undone because he's already did it. Yes, Thank sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Now that beloved is his oath and his veracity. That's his habitual truthfulness. Confirms his word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That God is willing more abundantly to show unto the heirs of promise the immutability, the unchanging 
of his counsel and confirmed it by an oath. Hallelujah. That's Hebrews 6, 17. That 18 verse says, Hebrews 6, 17, 18, I'm reading 18, that by two immutable things in which it was impossible for God to lie, we might have a strong consolation who have fled from refuge to lay hold upon the hope set before us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. These two immutable things, the word of his promise, and by his own oath, which neither of them can be broken. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to say to us tonight that God's people don't need to be discouraged. And I want to encourage Thank you, don't you be Lord. discouraged. Thank you, Lord. Don't be despondent Thank you, Lord. in times of trial. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Find you something to laugh at. Find you something to be glad about. Yes, sir. And I remind you again tonight, and I say it all the time, amen, because for every crazy thing that, that the devil is doing over here, God's doing something super wonderful right there beside it. Satan's trying to get you to look at the crazy. Yes, God's sir. trying to get you yes. to see the good. That even when it's dark, he's right there. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. You know it's dark because you see a shadow. The shadow is created by the light. Mm. It's shining on you. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. That when you obey God, he's going to take care of you. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That, that, I see it in the Old Testament with God's prophet Balaam. Amen. And, 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 and he's too much like, like prophets of our day. Mm. Now, I want to share something intimate with you, beloved. That God does not tell no one person everything that's going on all the time. Amen. Help me, Lord Jesus. You see, the reason our modern day prophets make mistakes in their predictions is not prophecy, it's a prediction. Mm. Help me, Lord Jesus. Help us. Help us. <laughs> yes, sir. Read the Bible. If God told one prophet, Everything that was going to happen everywhere, why would you need more than one? Oh, Lord. Mm. No one prophet knows everything God's going to do every day, all the time. Speak, Pastor. And a prophet can own, a real prophet can only prophesy what God tells him. Yeah. Prophecy is from the mind of God, and a man can't think it up. Help me, Lord Jesus. Help See, the Bible says when the prophet, when, when what he says doesn't come to pass, he said, get you, get you some rocks and kill him. Because right, he ain't no good. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm never afraid to prophesy. God tell me to say something, I'm going to say it. Amen. But I'm not going to lie on him. Amen. That's the real problem with these so-called prophets today. They're going to prophesy what and how the election is going to come out. How do you know? And then when it didn't come out the way you did, now you got to try to explain what happened that the devil got in it. The devil is a liar, you are too. All right, now. All right. Speak that that you know. Yes. And that that you don't know, stay silent. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, folks follow prophecy, but they don't want to hear the preaching of the word. Oh, no. They go to sleep on the preaching. But when you prophesy, everybody wake up. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah That's why two men are trying to build a ministry on prophecy. Oh, Lord. Help me, Lord Jesus. And that's why they got something to say about everything to go on. It ain't nowhere it's not. Mm. You who would know the mind of God? Mm. If God doesn't tell you, you don't know. Amen. Amen. And don't be discouraged. Hallelujah. Oh, and despondent in critical times. I want to encourage you tonight. Yes. Yes. That, that prophet Balaam, that's the one that the donkey saw the angel and he couldn't. Mm. Now you're in bad shape if a donkey can see God and you can't. Oh, no. <laughs> that prophets are still human. You want to elevate them to be your little God. They ain't no God. Amen. They're human just like you. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. And they're subject to error and mistake just like everybody else. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, I'll tell you why. I'm seeing I'm 70 years old and I know why I'm alive. I'm alive because there's something else I got to get straight. That goes for everybody on the planet. Yeah, yeah. Yes. 
You get perfect in this world can't hold you. All right now. Help me, Lord Jesus. Help. That, that obeying God will cancel what Satan tries to do. Yes. Thank, you, Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes. And then I want to say this before I take my seat. That beloved God is promoting. Oh, my God. There you go. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. The Spirit of God told me to say this again. Remember the first time he told me to say it, and every time he says this for somebody. You must ignore. This is the word from God. You must ignore the foolishness going on around you. Satan is trying to get you to pay attention to the foolishness. God says, I'm promoting you. Yes, sir. Yes. And Satan's foolishness always precedes my promotion. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just, just receive it. God promoting me. God promoting me. Hallelujah. <laughs> but can I tell you something about promotion? Promotion may not feel like promotion initially. Mm. But you have to know that you've been promoted. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me see if I can't help you. <laughs> Sometimes the first day on the job may be the most challenging. Oh, Lord. And when you're promoted, trust me on this, some type of disappointment, disappointment is waiting on you mm. yes. when you've been promoted. Yes. Yes. And that disappointment is not from God. You're still appointed. He's not changed his mind yeah. about what he told you to do or who he told you to be. But that disappointment comes from the enemy. Yeah. And that's his tactic to try to persuade you to disapprove of the promotion. Oh, Lord. Listen at the Israelite. At least we were slaves over in Egypt. At least we had something to eat. Mm. Help me, Lord Jesus. Help us, Lord. Help us, help us. How many how, how many have been promoted and, 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 and they say it was better when, 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 when I wasn't over everybody? Oh, Lord. <laughs> That same tactic to get you to disapprove of your promotion and how many have been demoted from where God promoted them to because of that despondency yeah. and binding the crap that Satan tried to say on you that you don't belong there. Oh, Lord Jesus. Mm. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to tell you that God is he, he's keeping us. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit there. Keeping us. He said, my sheep hear my voice. Yes. And I know them. Isn't it wonderful for the Lord to know us? Yes, Lord. He said, I know them and they follow me. Mm. I give them eternal life and they never perish. Mm. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. Mm. It's John 10, verse 27 through 29. John 10, 27 through 29. That 29th, 28th verse says, I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. Verse 29 says, My Father, which gave them me, is greater than all. Mm. And no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. That, that, that Jesus won't let us go. And the Father won't let us go. Then Ephesians 1.13 Ephesians 1 13, it said, In whom ye have tr also trusted after that you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also that you believe you were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. Dr. R.A. Williams in Los Angeles, California, amen, he, he preached it like this. He said that I'm in Jesus' hand. Yes. And I'm in, and nobody can pluck me out of Jesus' hand. It says, I'm in the Father's hand. And nobody can pluck me out of my father's hand and say, then I'm sealed with the Holy Ghost. And before Satan can get to me, he'll be saved because of any man being Christ, he's a new preacher. <laughs> Glory be to the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Nothing can change our relationship with God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I say nothing can change our relationship with God. I'm persuaded. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Neither death nor life. Yes, yes. Nor angels. Mm. Nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come. Yes. Nor height, nor depth. Yes. Nor any other creature shall be able to separate us yes. from the love of God. Yes. 
which is in Christ Jesus. Yes, sir. I thank God tonight mm. that I'm in him. Yeah. And I thank God that he's in me. Yeah. And the change that I need is in him. And when he stays in me, he'll turn things around. Yes, and he'll turn me around yeah. till I'm in the place where he wants me to be. Yes. I want to say, hold on, old soul. Wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord and be of good courage. Hallelujah. For the Lord will. He will strengthen your heart. Oh, yes, he will. You wait on the Lord. Hallelujah. Wait on the Lord and he'll come to see about you. Yes, he will. He will not suffer you to be tempted, tested, or tried above that you're able. But will, with the temptation, test, and trial, offer a way of escape. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm so glad tonight. That God didn't change his mind. Thank you. How about you? Thank you? Are you glad tonight that God did not change his mind? Yeah. Are you glad tonight yeah. that he'll help you to be who he wants you to be? Yeah. He'll help you to do what he's called you to do. Yeah. Wait on the Lord. Yeah. Wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Serve him with gladness. Yeah. Serve him with hope. Hallelujah. There's a brighter day. There's a brighter day ahead. Oh, yes, it is. God bless you tonight. Yes, sir. God keep you. It's my prayer. Thank you, Lord Jesus. That God has not changed his mind about who he told you to be. Thank you, Lord. He's not changed his mind about what he told you to do. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Depend on him. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, depend on him. And he'll bring you through. Our Father and our God, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your word. Thank you. For your precious Holy Spirit, our teacher. Yes. Who's taught us tonight to depend on you. Yeah, Lord. And Holy Father, I pray tonight for that person who has been despondent. I pray for that child of yours who's been discouraged. And mm. pray, oh God, that you lift up that countenance. You're a lift them up of a bowed down head. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Draw us closer, Holy Father. Draw us closer. Call us closer to you. For in you we have hope. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In you we have the completion of our desires. You're our all in all. And we bless your holy and righteous name tonight. Thank you, God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we do pray with thanksgiving. Now listen to me. You that are so close to Canaan, God's calling you. You that are called and left your calling. He says, return unto me and I will return unto you, saith the Lord of hosts. You ask wherein shall we return. You return at the place of departure. Hallelujah. Go back to that place where you walked off. There's a portal there. Hallelujah. Songwriter wrote about it. See on the portal, he's waiting and watching. And he's beckoning, come home. Hallelujah. God bless us tonight. God keep us, make us perfect in every good work. We've done our best for this time. Thank you for joining us on video conference call and on phone call conference. Thank you for joining us on Facebook. Members stay with us as we go off Facebook. Look forward to seeing you next time. God bless us. God keep us is my prayer.